Hi guys, this is my Samsung device and it's running on One UI 6.1. But wait a second. Yes, this is Android 16 custom ROM and I've just installed it on my Samsung phone. The good news is, if your device is supported, you can install it too. Let me first show you the new features, then I'll guide you step by step on how to install Android 16 ROM. Right now it's not available for every Android phone, only a few devices are supported. But if your phone is on the list, you can install Android 16 custom ROM right now. Alright, this is Infinity X, a newly launched custom ROM that's already available for dozens of devices. And the best part, it runs buttery smooth. All the home screen and lock screen customizations are working perfectly. You can change wallpapers easily and even set a custom lock screen wallpaper as per your taste. The clock style and size can also be adjusted, giving you full control over how your lock screen looks. If I open the camera app, everything works perfectly. You get all the stock camera features without any crashes. Photos are clear and both the front and back cameras are working smoothly. We all know custom ROMs are famous for customization and Infinity X doesn't disappoint. It supports all the gestures you expect. Double tap to wake, swipe gestures for navigation, three finger swipe, one handed mode and many more. Everything feels smooth and responsive. And guys, look at the notification panel and the status bar. This looks super clean and modern. The icons are sharp, the layout is simple, and everything is easy to access. This is exactly what we expect from an Android 16 ROM. Minimal, good looking, and perfectly matching the fresh Android 16 design. On top of that, you can customize the lock screen even further. One of the coolest options is the screen off animation. For example, if I change it to CRT style, the screen turns off with this classic animation. It looks super satisfying and it gives that extra touch of uniqueness every time you lock or unlock your phone. You can also customize the always on display settings. For example, edge lighting glows when you receive a notification, which looks really cool in the dark. And there are tons of options to explore, from changing fonts and icons to tweaking gestures, themes, and even system animations. Infinity X really gives you full control over how your phone looks and feels. As we know, Android 16 comes with the new built-in Linux terminal. But just a quick clarification, it's not working on this Android 16 custom ROM. Right now, Google has given access only to Pixel devices. But we can expect this feature to arrive on custom ROMs, like Infinity X, in the future. Now that we've explored all the features, let's move on to the installation process. I am using my Samsung device, but the procedure is the same for any supported Android phone. Just follow these steps carefully. First, download the Infinity X ROM file. I've added the link below, so just grab it and save it on your phone. I moved mine to the SD card because of an issue with my recovery. But if your phone works fine, you can just keep the file in internal storage. Once you have the file ready, boot your phone into recovery mode. Let me quickly boot into recovery. Alright, the device is now in recovery mode. I'm using Orange Fox recovery instead of TWRP, but the process is almost the same on both. First, let's head over to the ROM file. In my case, I've saved it on the SD card, so let me switch there. And here is our ROM file, now simply swipe to install it. The ROM is now installing, so let's wait until the process is complete. The good thing is, this ROM already comes with Google Apps built in, so you don't need to flash gaps separately. Alright, the flash is done. Now go back to the home screen in recovery. From here, tap on wipe and then choose format data. Type yes and press enter. This step is very important because it clears old encrypted data and makes sure the phone boots properly into the new ROM. Once the format is complete, click on reboot system. Now your phone will restart and boot into Android 16 for the very first time. Keep in mind, the first boot may take a few minutes, so don't worry if it stays on the boot logo for a while.
And that's it. You've successfully installed Android 16 with the Infinity X custom ROM on your device and it's all set to use. After setup, you can start enjoying all the new features, smooth performance and customization options right away. If you found this video useful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and please consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.